First at 5.30, a wild chase in Cranston ends with the suspect getting away. But now police say they have their man. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kim Kalunian. I'm Mike Montecalvo. Our newest 12 News reporter, Joe Cortez, has the story from Cranston. Police have arrested 35 year old Adam Corburn after he allegedly robbed a Citizens Bank ATM Tuesday night in Cranston and leading police on a dangerous chase through a construction zone and a local bike path. Just after 10 o'clock Tuesday night on Atwood Avenue in Cranston, police responded to a reported ATM robbery. When they got there, police received a description of the vehicle from the bank's surveillance cameras. When officers arrived at the scene, he had fled. Uh, another officer separate uh, and apart on Park Avenue noticed the vehicle matching the description tried to stop it. But that's when police say Corbin spent through the construction zone and veered onto a bike path. Once he arrived on Dyer Avenue, there were police officers waiting for him, which is when he struck a police vehicle and continued to flee towards the city of Providence northbound. The chase called off, police saying it was too dangerous. When police found the vehicle disabled, the suspect fled on foot over a fence, which police say prompted another reason to call off the search. Officers were met with that, with him running to this homeless encampment. It's very hard to figure out who's who, and it's a very tough environment to decipher what's going on with all of these people there. Police were able to find him, but just two days later, he turned himself in. He felt it was better that he come looking for us before we come looking for him. Corburn is facing four charges, including attempted larceny and eluding police. He was arraigned and released, but his official arraignment will be November 3rd. In Cranston, Joe Cortez, 12 News.